Hi everybody, Kurt Zepp here from the Happy Frog Observatory. So today I want to talk about these crazy issues that I've been having lately and I actually solved the problem and there's no other way to put it but it was actually kind of stupid on my part. But anyways, I'll, I'll go through all the problems that I was having, see if you can guess what, what my issue was. You may think experienced people don't really have problems but we do. Anyways, I'm Kurt Zepatello and you're watching AstroQuest 1. Okay, first off, having the observatory is really, really great. I love it. I don't mean to rub anybody's nose in it, but it, it really does come in handy. I've, I've got a power box here that runs everything. I've got the powered USB hub. It's already polar aligned. All I have to do is turn my computer on over there and roll, take the roll off, uh, or roll the roll, roll the roof off, and take the uh, lens caps off. Or I have not done that a few times. But other than that, it is great. So anyways, what possible problems can I have? Well, this, the issues I've, I had or was having before I figured out what the problem was, they were occurring over several nights uh, before I actually diagnosed what it was. So let me go through these and see if you can guess what the problem was. Number one, it didn't center after it did its meridian flip. So that is, it did its meridian flip, okay, and it didn't line up on the object, it was all way off to the side. Now that issue what isn't so bad if it only happened once, I mean that, that could happen for a number of reasons. So I wasn't too concerned about that. So that, that, that was the start of it. Issue number two was after our uh, done doing his run, you know, I checked the data the next day. And I noticed that uh, some of the exposures were missing, sort of. It was kind of weird. It did save something, or tried to save something, but it changed the name and it saved it to a different directory, but there was no data in some of those exposures. So that is, it took half of the exposures fine, and the other half, it didn't seem to save them. And that was kind of concerning. Uh, so that was issue number two. All right, issue number three. After, the, I, I was using Nina to do the capturing, but after Nina got done with doing the capturing, it uh, was supposed to shut down automatically. Everything, you know, it, turn, it takes the scope back to home position and shuts down everything and, and whatnot, but it didn't. I got up in the middle of the night to just to check on things, make sure it shut off properly, and it, it didn't. The scope was pointed down into the uh, down in the wall over there, so I was like, oh, Jesus. So I fixed everything up and shut everything down, and I'm going, oh, what the hell is going on with this thing? Anyway, so that was issue number three. All right, issue number four. After This is after a couple of days of this nonsense happening. I st started Nina for an, another night of astrophotography, and when I started, my normal template that would normally start up, it, it didn't start up. It started on some generic uh, version. So I went down and found my version, and I, I had to start that up, but I was wondering why it would do something like that. So that was uh, issue number four. All right, issue number five. This was the one that was put the nail in the coffin, and I finally, this is where I actually figured out what was going on. So when I started Nina up after that uh, mishap where it, where it went to the generic thing, and I re-entered um, my normal template, I turned everything on, but I went to turn on my mount and it wasn't detected. So that was a real bad problem. That was like, what the hell is this going on? So this is where I started doing a lot more of this diagnosing. So my first thought was it was some sort of cable issue. So if you're new to astrophotography, uh, these cables, these USB cables and whatnot, they go bad sometimes. Uh, they'll, they might work sometimes and sometimes they might not, so you might have a bad cable. And that was my first thought. I had some bad cable somewhere. But I checked it out. I mean, I had, this is a very expensive uh, EQ mod cable right here. So I connected this directly up to the computer. Still nothing. I have another EQ mod cable that I use that I know works, and I connected that one up. Nothing. So... It wasn't a cable, something was wrong, it wasn't recognizing it. So I, my first thought was Nina, maybe Nina is somehow corrupted. And I uh, 
And so I said, well, geez, maybe I'll see if I can uh, find the, my mount using another program. So I tried APT, Astrophotography Tool, and that couldn't find it either. So at that point, I said, oh, God, what the heck? So the only thing, the next thing, the step was ASCOM. So I looked at my ASCOM, the, the ASCOM startup menu, and sure enough, somehow my data was cleared out. My mount was cleared out of the ASCOM fo uh, folder. So I re-entered all that data, you know, the bob rate and all that mumble jumble that you got to do when you set up EQ mod. And I had to find the COM port. That took a while to, uh, my, you know, to find the right COM port and all that jazz. But I did it and I got everything working and sure enough, my mount appeared. So at that point, you know, and I checked all the other cables. I thought I was good to go. I don't know why all this problem was happening in the first place, but I thought, but gee, maybe I had a Windows update and somehow it messed everything up. Anyways, so I got everything working. I started everything up, getting everything ready. And all of a sudden I saw it coming flashing up. My, my computer screen was danger, danger. Your hard drive is completely full. Hard drive is full. I don't see anything on my my desktop well <laughs> this is where it was really this was my this was totally my fault what i've been doing after i do a run i just take it off the desktop i don't take it off the desktop I, I just put it into another folder called other and i kept doing this for over a year now i just kept forgetting that i i was doing that i didn't even you know usually you would delete the stuff but i just kept putting it in this other folder and that my, my hard drive was completely full it was i have a uh, 500 uh gigabyte hard drive and it was just you know it, i had i had like a year's worth of uh runs on there and that that seemed to be the issue <laughs> anyway i think well, why would that stop it this stuff doesn't really uh you know these programs don't use hard drive space well actually some programs do use a bit of hard drive. They partition stuff off. Uh, for example, uh, PixInsight does that when it does its weighted batch pre-processing. So some programs will actually use part of the hard drive even when they're doing their stuff. And in this case, when it's trying to download the files, it downloads the files to the hard drive as well. So I, you know, it was, it was a double whammy. It's no wonder why I was having all these issues. It just took a couple days to diagnose it because that was. I wasn't even thinking of uh, the hard drive space. You know, I was looking, I was more thinking the cables or some other piece of, you know, could, could be anything. There's so many things that can go wrong. Even if you're an experienced uh, astrophotographer, even if you have a shed and everything's in here, you can still have these problems. Anyways, uh, that's all I have for you, folks. I will start doing a few more videos, I think, because summer's coming around. I know I've been, uh, I, I don't make a lot of videos. You know, well, that's the way it is. I, I just find them very difficult to do, but I, I enjoy doing it, especially if I have something to say, like, like this time. Anyways, uh, that's all I have for you, folks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.